Today we're going to make some jalapeno popper egg rolls. I put this bacon down earlier, coarsely chop it. Try not to fling it all over my kitchen. I'm going to put a whole little container of whipped cream cheese. And I also got a half a block of cream cheese that I've let softened. Half of a bag of mild cheddar. Throw all the bacon in there. I have these jalapenos. I'm not sure how many I'm going to use, but I'm about to cut them in half, get all the seeds out. But I want to use gloves when I do that because the last time I did it without them, I lit myself up. I'm just going to get most of the seeds out like this into a bowl. So they're like this, and then we're going to just dice them up. I ended up using four of them. I think that's going to be plenty. So I'm going to do them in the air fryer because I don't want them to be greasy. So I want the jalapeno to be, you know, I wanted the, there to be a lot of it in there. I'm going to get in here with my hands. It's going to be super messy. Get it all together into a stuffing. I'm calling an audible and putting in about a cup of sour cream. It's going to make it smoother, easier to work with. The two gringos by Ulicious. I don't know why. I just feel like it's going to go go right in there. I had 16 egg rolls, so I'm going to freeze six of them and cook two batches of five at 400 for six minutes on one side. Flip them and do six minutes That's on the right. other side. Okay, let me show you what these egg rolls look like. Okay, next five going in. Just look at how the rest of these came out, y'all. The air fryer is the way to go when it comes to egg rolls because I do not like greasy egg rolls. Give it a little cut down the middle. Mm. Let me get a bite of that. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's so good. Total success, y'all. You gotta make you some of these jalapeno popper egg rolls.